Hey, this is Mr. Perez. Welcome. Okay, Charlie, let's get to work right there. Find the measures of the angles X and Y. If the measure of angle X is three-fifths the measure of angle Y, and if the angles are related according to the figure. Well, notice we are given X is three-fifths Y. Therefore, we get the equation X is three-fifths Y. And the figure shows that angles X and Y are supplementary angles, therefore their sum has to be 180. Now, we can substitute the X with 3 fifths Y to give us this equation. Now, we can solve this equation using a clearing fractions approach, which means we're going to use the denominator 5 to clear our fractions by multiplying both sides of our equation and distributing the 5 to get this equation right here. Well, notice the 5's cancel out, leaving us with 3y, and we bring down our work. What's 5 times 180, Charlie? 900. Very nice. Now, Charlie, what's 3y's plus 5 more y's? 8y's. Very nice there. Now, to solve for y, we divide both sides of our equation by 8, and we get y equals 900 divided by 8. Now, Charlie, what's 900 divided by 8? 112.5. Very nice. Now, that is our y value. So to get x, we'll take 180 and subtract 112.5, which gives us what, Charlie? 67.5. That's right. So the measure of angle x is 67.5 degrees, and the measure of angle y is 112.5. 0.5 degrees. Don't forget to circle or box your answer. So let's go ahead and verify that x is 3 fifths of y. So we'll get 3 fifths times 112.5, which is what, Charlie? 67.5. 67.5. So we are correct. We'll see you all again soon.